Hello everybody, welcome to part 2 of Fallout, this is exactly where we left off, okay so, she talked about this lady who wanted to supposedly meet us, and that kind of stuff, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with this one first, I wanna see if you can actually, okay. So there it is right there. I got so many views on my first part already. So thank you everybody who watched it. I appreciate it a lot and thank you. And happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I actually forgot the doctor part. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Um, my um, I have Fallout in windowed mode so I couldn't record it, and I can't see where the arrow is because of my windows of it. I think it's right there, in this direction. Nope, I don't think this is it. Oh, I can see him. I feel like I don't know how to run, but if I press the run button, I just walk. So I'm gonna try to I don't know how to put my gun away. There she is I'm right there. Done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm gonna get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not gonna buy something, get out. What the hell is your problem? Jeez. What's wrong with him? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. All right. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad, and they've got a lot of friends out there. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Not much. I of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since.
They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between... Be careful. Yeah, I think she said that Ringo was up at the gas station up there. Oh, look what I found. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go out the back or something. How do you bust the toilet like that? I'm not even gonna ask. She said the gas station or something like that. I don't even know. There's a work benches in this game? I remember going to the gas station. So yeah, it's right down there. I wanna know how to put my gun up. I don't like carrying my gun all the time. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. I feel like helping the powder gang just because it's bad as a video game. But you know, I'll help this guy out. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now... If some of the other people in town were also on board. I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Sunny Smiles. Wow, on my PlayStation 3, it would take forever to get through those doors, and now if you walk in there once, you will get in and out instantly. Sunny smiles. Where is she? I don't like... The um, uh oh, no, get out, get out, get out. I didn't mean to do that. I like doing this, I don't like going in third person.
Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Say no more. I'm in. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. I'll be waiting. So you're planning on taking on Joe? All the more reason for me to sit this one out. I'll be rude. That does sound like a good plan. All right, you seem to know what you're doing, so you can count me in. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Be careful. I don't know why that keeps on happening to me. Okay. I just noticed that this is a workshop. This might be some guy living in here that could help us. Now that's a general store. I'm gonna go up to Doc Mitchell first. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. I don't know who these people are. Where am I gonna find them? Oh, it's on my dial down there. Yeah, let's go do this way.
Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Too dangerous. Told you before. was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorners. Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, with good money in it. Well, I don't think... Keep your gun. I don't think he's gonna help. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way... That was stupid. Like, I had 22 out of 25 that should have succeeded at all. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. Take it easy. Yeah, let's just start it now. It's so weird because this world is so huge, it doesn't ever go anywhere. Well, look at that church down there. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. All right, I'm... Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six. I'll be safe. I'm not doing something right. Oh, dang. Howdy.
have established a reputation with a group of people in the wasteland, whether that reputation is good or bad, your family, somebody, and people associated with that group will start to react to what you've done. There are many different factions in the wasteland, and you can develop a distinct reputation with each one. you a huge favor for this here these are technically crimson caravan funds but i know they'll understand once i explain things i'll stick around for a bit longer but i'll be gone in a few days if you ever visit new vegas look me up at the crimson caravan camp There's more male characters in this game, so I'll take more damage to them. Evening. God, just because I put armor on, I just wanted the armor, dude. No, what's happening? I think I'm dead on it, dude. Just because I put on their armor, are you serious? this whole thing okay well I will just cut through it welcome back everybody um yep I finished it see the this so I'm gonna stop it right here. Thank you for watching, everybody. This this was an amazing episode. Thank you, everybody who watched part one. Um, I appreciate all the views I got and the amount of. What the heck? Um. His head was blown off. His whole brain was blown off, all the way over here. Are you serious right now? 
his whole brain and then the side of his head that's just ugh. is that is that a spine that's an eyeball Jesus yeah well thank you for watching and see you next time